Now Android backup is now, now completed. I have also backed up the user data just in case even though I have the third party applications. And now we are going to patch Synogen my Mod 7 and Google Apps. Uh, basically for this we needed to put them in uh, some update folder which we didn't, I didn't. So, uh, but luckily uh, the open recovery menu itself had an option of putting it into mem card mode. So now we are in mem card mode and uh, I can just simply move these two files around to the required update folder. That would be um, open recovery slash updates. Uh, open recovery slash updates which will be completely empty right now we need oh crap yeah these two open recovery and updates checking the file size once 5.5 MB for Google Apps and 94.5 MB for Synergy 95.4 was it yep 95.4 <clears throat> unmounting SD card see Motorola A853 the moving drive And now we can disable the mass storage mode. And since this is seriously dangerous for me to do this with one hand, so I'm gonna pause here and get back to you as soon as I have something more to report. In the update menu, the second file is the Synergen mod. First file is Google Apps signed. Uh, now we are going to update this in this order. First Synergen mod, then Google Apps. Ready, set, go. Confirm installation of this package. Yes, there is no turning back from this now. Installing. This is the pink, purple blipper again. <laughs> okay, now we are. This seemed a. Uh, practically impossible like just a few hours ago now we are at the stage wherein we have cracked all the signatures cracked all the uh, logged bootloaders and all that crap and just when we thought that the recovery menu could not be obtained we got into the recovery menu after a lot of hard work and now we are actually installing gingerbread and this is so fast it is almost complete yup uh, it is complete. Synogen mod has been installed. Installing Google Apps. Signed. Uh, yes. Installing Google Apps from the recovery menu. Installation of Google Apps complete. Okay. That's that's it <laughs> okay that was it um, I'm going back and the first option is to reboot the system wish me luck reboot oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap this is so exciting mm. This is the Motorola logo, that means at least something is happening. Um, well, the good thing about this now is that we have the SBF backed up, our normal SBF before we applied any of the patches, uh, which we created using the Android backup. If this goes wrong, God forbid, if this goes wrong, we can just um, repatch the old backup. And 
there we go it will be shortened uh people have said that this first boot requires way too long it sometimes it takes about 15 minutes or so but then it's different from device to device and uh, since the locks are also different the boot loaders are different and everything is different so you can't really say for sure that in how many minutes this will come back uh so at least something is happening uh i'll get back as soon as we have the cyanogen mod uh, boot loader logo thingy